Hey folks, welcome to a hot pawpaw. <laughs> I'm hot. It's 90 degrees. I've been out working on the, in the tractor, didn't feel it. I come back, this was stuff out there by the metal pile, and it is hot. I just broke into a sweat. I, I looked good for a while in, in that air, and now look at me. Anyway, it's getting late. And uh, I want to do gifts and goodies, so we'll have it for tomorrow morning. Saturday morning for y'all. Uh, voice is coming back. I can defend myself when they start in on me over here. <laughs> uh, tomorrow we're supposed to have a, a cleanup day in the back pasture. I'm hoping everybody's able to help. Uh, I temporarily fixed the fence. I left one spot, and I know old Dan will see it, and he's going to probably video it. I took a little log, about so big around, five, six foot long, that little space. I knew a cow couldn't go through it because there was some bent, cow panel bent down behind it, sticking, kind of sticking up. And they're not gonna hardly walk through that cow panels. But I wanted to do something to get his attention. So I took this little log and I kind of made a little bridge across from that wire to this wire and tied it with a hay string. <laughs> But I'm gonna tell you something. And I normally wouldn't bring this up on give some good. But when I'm here working on this fence, using tie wires, you know, which last a long time, hay strings will last a long time, I saw some plastic zip ties. Now let's yeah. Plastic zip ties will not work in keeping cows in because you tie it to your post, it gets hot, it'll stretch your wires up and down on that post. Next thing you know, you got wires as far apart, you got them all shoved together. It just don't work. I see old Dan coming over. Uh, he's coming over here to probably pick on me. Anyway, let's get busy. Uh, We've been doing some cleaning. Uh, my pavilion smells good. We have washed this place down from top to bottom. Oh, there might be a few spider webs here and there. You know, that's their house. <laughs> and then we come back and we scrubbed it, washed it again, then we bleached it. Strong bleach. My little kitchen, we did it first. Smells good, looks good in there. Then we moved out into this area here, did it all, and then we went into the man cave. Scrubbed the walls down from the water level down. Scrubbed it all out. Then we bleached it, strong, heavy bleach. And then today I went in this little kitchen over here, my little modern kitchen, it used to be and did it the same way from water level down and the restroom the bathroom back here we scrubbed and we scrubbed and we blowed all that water out of there then we bleached it down and it smells good in there i'm running the air for a couple of days now to dry it out and then we're going to cut the air off and turn on the little ozone and kind of get all the germs out okay all right Let's get started here. My friend Logan, next door, uh, is fixing to leave town for a while. He's got a job in Pennsylvania. And uh, he come over and talking about it. I said, Logan, I don't be a bad neighbor, but you need to move them logs somewhere besides hurricane season's coming, son. That water comes through here again, they all will be back over here in the fences everywhere. So he said, well, he'll try to move them tomorrow, but he can't move them up the front of his property because of the road that went up there is all washed out. So I said, okay, look, an idea I had, I said, stack them, get them up at that low place and stack them over here behind my beehive, right beside that fence behind my beehive. I said, it's a, it's a little bit higher there, plus the current, if the water does come up that high, won't be a strong there, so he said he'd do that tomorrow. 
Alright, we got a box here. Uh, let's see, we get a name on here. There's nothing in it. It says to Pop Almaro. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Here. I don't know to hear anything. I don't see one. <laughs> A little bird feeder. An outdoor bird feeder. Ain't that cute? We feed the parakeets, and a lot of the birds eat with the chickens. This would be so awesome. I could put it out in the front yard and the kids when they're out here playing, they can watch the little birds coming and eat bird seed. I'll get some bird seed. I'll borrow some of G's parakeet seed first. She won't know. <laughs> she buys a big container when she buys it. Thank you so much. Whoever sent this, let me know who sent this, okay? Let me set this right here. And I will get that put up. Make a video of it. Okay. Here we go. All right, not a lot of things here, so it won't take too much time. Paw paw and cheese. If there's something to do, uh, she should be out of Okay, you know what? I ain't got my glasses on, guys, so bear with me, okay? I, I broke them. Oh, I got a bunch of glasses. I was going to hand them with me. Uh, I broke them a while ago. When I was down there at the metal pile, they hung on my shirt and got pulled and broke one of the little, little handles off. Oh, that's beautiful here. Hang on. Oh, this is so sweet. Look here. It is beautiful. Hope y'all can see that. You are beautiful. That's surely not for me. Uh, amazing. Well, that could be Papa. Victorious. Capable. Enough. Chosen. Uh, created. Strong. Never alone. Always love. And there's a verse for each one of those. Faith does not make things easy it makes them possible that's beautiful I'll take this in I know it's probably for G oh it applies to me too it does <laughs> no Papa always said beautiful <laughs> I've never been called beautiful have we Woody we have what would be called beautiful Woody's been with me out working I right, have another one here. All right, I think it's me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. American flag. We're looking at Doberman. Ain't that beautiful? Ain't that beautiful? You know, let me see this front. This is beautiful. Uh, oh, damn, that tractor's probably going to try to drown me out. That's what he's trying to do. I know it. I know it. It says, uh, Jennifer Thompson. Uh, one's for Gigi. Yeah, I showed you one for her. The other one is for Papa. I hope you like this. Jennifer Thompson. Jennifer, they're beautiful. I love them. Talk about, it. uh, y'all got right here. By my girl. Oh, talking about dogs earlier today. In fact, uh, someone said something about the dogs, and she says, "Well, you know, little Buster has become very special to us, and he has. If you watch the videos, uh, he's actually very smart, and he's not hard-headed like you, Woody. Woody, yeah. but Buster very smart." 
He loves Coda Bear. If Coda Bear wants to go out and play, he's right with her. Now, if she was napping, he's right with her. Now, sometimes he said, well, I think I'm going to go with Paw Paw. Coda Bear, you're asleep, so I'm going to go ahead and slip off a coat with Paw Paw, and he does. All right, but he's a special little dog. We all love him. All right, I got something here from Rod Neal. That's Ronnie. I'm trying to impress somebody, Ron. Okay, Ron. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, look here. John Wayne Cope. Patriotism. You know, we just went through the the 80th anniversary of uh, the landing in Normandy. And those folks, they, I guarantee you they were scared, but they were brave. They sucked it up. And they did what had to be done. Oh, there's a note from him. Oh, sir. Okay. Do not read on camera. Sometimes folks send private stuff they don't want, you know. I understand that, and I, I appreciate that. Let's see. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm not reading this on camera, Ronnie. No, I'm not reading this on camera, Ronnie. I, I don't understand it. <laughs> Ronnie calls me a lot, and he's always stirring up trouble with Dan. He likes to pick on Dan. And I was telling my friend Steve, uh, I talked to Steve and his wife Susan a lot in, in Tennessee. And they're both special folks, uh, Ronnie and Steve and Susan. They, they really are they're really good people. Ronnie loves to pick. Uh, I pick on him. You know, he had a bad weather and he put all his little chickens in a cage on the, on the, on the patio. And he talking to me. He said something about his wife and very upset with him <laughs> because his chickens was doing what their chicken business on, his, on the patio. I couldn't help myself. I tried to refrain. I tried not to do this, but it just, I couldn't. So I called back. And he answered, I says, uh, you in the house? He says, yeah. I sat there watching TV with my wife. I says, put the phone on the speaker. I'm gonna talk to her for a second. So he puts it on. I said, Miss Neal, I can't believe you put that nasty chickens on your patio. Oh boy, here in the back right here. <laughs> I hung up. <laughs> uh, he deserved it. Okay, see what we got here. Oh, this is so pretty. Hang on, guys. Hang on. Uh, Lester and Dan. G. Tina, me, and Kim. That's my little family. Ain't that beautiful? Uh, I guess it just sticks right to the wall. You got little stickers on the back. I'm guessing. Uh, I don't see a note yet. Hang on. I'm looking for a note. Don't turn loose. That little sticker stuck to my, to my camera. Hang on. Beautiful. Uh, I don't think there's anything on the on the envelope. Let me look. The cane comes in handy when something's out of reach. Just reach out to his drag it to you. No, it doesn't say who it's from. So whoever you are. Let me know. I appreciate it. This is beautiful. I'll take this in the house. Beautiful.
Okay. To uh, Eugene Papa Mark. Talking to my oldest brother this morning in Seattle. He's uh, 11 years older than I am. talking, having a good time, and he's telling me about first time when he taught me to swim. He said, he's a little boy, little. And I throwed you in the pond. He said, you remember that? I said, I do. I do remember getting thrown in the pond. I was little, but I remember that. Maybe it's a fear thing. And I said, I swim. Didn't know how to swim, but I learned how to swim by dog paddling to the side. He said, yeah, he said, I was there in case you didn't make it. That's how I know. He's uh, living up there forever, seems like. All right, look here. I'm going to read this real quick without my glasses. Enjoy your gift. This is to assist you getting your socks on, Papa, from Diana. Nick, K, K and E, C H T. You know what, seriously, Diane, I don't know if you've been talking to my wife or what. One of the hardest things to do when your knees are not right, your knees are not right, is to put socks on. Look here. I'm not sure how they work. I'm going to figure it out. I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. But put your sock on there, and I guess you can just pull it up by release this thing here. But when your knees don't bend good, and you're trying to be the best you can now, get them socks on. Sit on the side of the bed, you got one leg up here, you bend over there, and then I'll get to the other side, you can get a cramp. Cramp right the ribs. Ah! So I think, y'all just give me a can of spray paint and paint socks on and go about my business. Okay, thank you so much, sweetie. That's very thoughtful. Okay, we only got two or three more. And y'all get back to your rat killer. Okay? Someone says, what does that mean? Well, that means if you got other things to do, go do it. Don't waste your time with me. Pop on more. battles about this. We have battles about this. Many goat, many cattle traits. There is not, I don't think, a note. I don't see a note. So whoever sent this, let me know. A mini horse and mini donkey. I have a look, mini donkey. I'm not a donkey, Papa. I'm a thoroughbred. But I'll eat them. I'll eat them anyway. Then he don't want to share with his little goat friends. And we did some rehoming. I know y'all guys know that a lot. Some folks really upset. I think a lot of you understood the situation we have when there are emergencies. You understand the situation when you're getting older and you can't get out and do all the stuff you need to do when you need to do it. And I appreciate that understanding. Uh, I made sure they all had good homes. Do I miss them? Yes. Yes, I do. They're like, like my own little, well, not my, not my real kids, but like my kids, you know. Uh, someone said, what about Ivan? Well, Ivan, he never leave. I would not care to come outside the morning if Ivan wasn't out there to fuss at me. No, that's not true. I would 
I want to come outside. I, I'm, a, I'm an outside type person. I don't like sitting in the house. Although I do like sitting. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to read who this is from because I ain't got my glasses on. Well, Pablo, you're unprepared. Well, what's new here? Okay. Karen Owens. See, I eagle eye here. Eagle eye. Okay, here we got a cap. Papa's people, I love that. I love this. Hang on here. It's a good looking cap. Okay, I got a shape. I can't wear a cap unshaped. Some folks wear them straight across. I can't, you know. I think I comb my hair. I think my hair is there. Yeah. Hey, baby. <laughs> Did you see that? She said, don't make me sick. <laughs> She's such a lucky woman. All right, looky here. We got. Oh, it's a beautiful card. Pay attention, Ronnie. We'll make sure Cuz sees this too. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Ronnie calls you. You made me sick. I won't be able to eat for a week. Uh, happy Father's Day. Thank you so much. Uh, we we'll wouldn't read it. Happy Father's Day, Papa. Enjoy your time spent with your family. We love your videos and appreciate the efforts it takes to put them out. They are entertaining, informative, and touching. I don't know how informative they are, but or touch you. Thank you for making us feel like part of your family. You are family. You guys, some of y'all been with me from day one. Now, if we ain't family, what is we? <laughs> Love from your YouTube family, Karen Owens. Yes, ma'am, we are family. We are family, it don't matter. Where are you from? How pretty you are, how ugly Ronnie might be. It don't matter. Still my friends. Still family. Uh, my friend Steve called me. Uh, crunchy knickerdoodle cookies. Now, could this be for people? Or from those doodle dogs? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to try one minute. If it's meant for a doodle dog, <laughs> I might be barking for a bark. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Sweetheart. Okay, so what's something else here? Uh, she sent. Steve and Susan. And I've got several people uh, email me about their gardens. I love hearing about your gardens. I do, I do. man. I love it down there. It's doing good. Chicken's kind of messing with it a little bit. But not bad. But I played them out of tomatoes too close. They were almost just like a big thicket. Uh, Steve, his wife, gonna send me some different kinds of stands, you know, or cages for my tomatoes in case I do a late crop or for the next year. I don't know if you can see this. I'm trying to get where you can see it. Paul Paul Morris. It's Paul Paul Morris with Big M. Ain't that beautiful? Thank you, baby. That is so awesome. Uh, Karen is her stepdaughter, Michelle. Yeah, hey, I get it. Uh, since uh, they. 
Alright, let's see what this is. Okay, I see what it is. I don't know. It's uh, some dog warmer for our dogs, I guess. Uh, thank you for it, whoever sent this. Uh, this is good stuff. It's Nemex 2. Uh, we warm our dogs uh, monthly. Uh, we get this, uh, they go to the vet. They give us pills good for worms, heart worms, the regular worms, fleas, ticks, and all this stuff. And uh, they get that monthly. But thank you for that. That's awesome. Now, I've used that stuff before. All right, got a box here. I'm going to see if I can find a name on it. Katie Erickson. Rockwall, Texas. Okay, Katie. Uh, I'll try to this up here. Katie. Looks like she wraps stuff like that, doesn't she? Coming apart, is it, Katie? <laughs> it ain't coming apart. No, ma'am. All right. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. It's a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of stuff in here, guys. I'm going to let her to Katie. Talking about the uh, the uh, flood prayers for everybody. Uh, it's a book for me, okay. The Holy Bible. Awesome. It's a uh, uh, in a. No, 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 can't go nowhere, no, no. Uh, it says, Dear Gene, I uh, hope all is well. May you be safe and happy. I love your family, trusting our Lord, praying for you. Hope you like your shirt. Hey, yeah, Katie, it's a beautiful Bible. Let it right there so don't lose it. Let's see. Okay. Yes, here we go. Believe in yourself, even if nobody else does. <laughs> well, that, that's mainly me. Believe it in myself, and nobody else really believes anything I do. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. That's beautiful. Bigfoot on it. Okay. Here's a necklace with crosses on it. Beautiful. I uh, fragrance for me, and I, I don't smell bad, do I, Katie? You trying to say I smell bad? <laughs> I probably sometimes do. Thank you so much, this week.
uh, grass fed and finished beef, all stick without the kick. Zero sugar. I'll try this. Oh, this look here. I don't know, Kate, if you make these or not, but they are beautiful. Uh, Jesus' grandma used to make these things, and uh, her goal was to make one. It is like almost bed size, you know, for every one in the family before she passed, and I think she did. I think she accomplished that goal. Uh, Jane from Katie, made with love. Look at this. There's several more. Look at these colors. Look at these colors. Is that beautiful or what? This is big too. Sweetie. This box is full, guys. Hang on. Here's one for Gigi. It's huge. It's huge. It's it's bed size. She's gonna be so excited with that. Box still got more stuff. You just gotta hang on. And a note to Gigi. I go to Gigi. Little cat picture. A cat picture for you. She loves cats. I'll put the stuff back in the box, take it into her. Colored rock. Beautiful rock. Alright, let's see what we Oh, look at this. It's like a purse. With a zipper in it. Oh, look at that. Flowers. Sunflowers. You got the zipper at the top. Sweet, if you made these things, or whoever made them, very, very talented. Very talented. Very much so. Yes, that's uh, that's going to close us up for today, and we'll get this thing out for you for Saturday morning. I uh, hope you'll enjoy it. hope you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. I hope you... Uh, Woody, 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 Woody boy, you want to say something? You want to say something, Woody? Woody said, I'm laying here on this clean floor, Papa. Ceiling fan blowing on him. <laughs> yeah, we got ceiling fans out here. Y'all probably think that no boy's back in the backwoods or whatever. He, country boy, don't have no ceiling fans out there. Probably don't have lights. Well, I do. And I got ceiling fans, too. Don't ever think. I'm backwoods. Look at that ceiling fan. See it? See it? Blowing right down in here. I got my cushions drying. And uh, I'll just sit over next to this old cat. Right underneath this fan. It's cooler here. But anyway, uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Share with a friend. If they say something, this old boy's kind of oaky. Oh no, he's high class. If he's first class. <laughs> I love you folks. I love you too, Ronnie. I didn't like that letter, Ronnie. That's not right. I should have read it. I should have read it, Ronnie. And let these folks know what I deal with. I love you folks. Y'all take care.